The title of the exhibition is In Real Times. The times in which shit worked with the collapse of European democracies into the hands of fascism were very real times. But a lot of the reflections and the echoes are very present to this day. Arthur Schick becomes a prime mover in the fight against Nazism, in the fight against fascism, in the greatest war effort the United States had ever undertaken. I think the work is very important. It shows the absurdity of anti-Semitism. It shows the horrific nature of anti-Semitism. And it also brings down the perpetrators, it makes them human, it makes them, it takes them off their pedestal. You have in, a, in the exhibit a, a sketch of Mussolini with his pants down, you know, Hitler looking ridiculous. But he's not doing it to make light of them. He's doing it to humanize them and say these men are not great leaders, but these men are small people who deserve to be seen in that way. Arthur Schick never tired of exposing tyrants, and he did it with a very searing eye. He finds idiosyncratic moves, facial expressions, in Hitler, Mussolini, but also in their entourage. And one of the things that emerges from this is to show how tyrants never act alone. They're always enabled by a court of enablers and of course, the complacency of entire countries. What happens when a nation stops caring about what's done in its name? Or even worse, in the case of Germany, what happens when a nation participates? in what's being done in its name. There were a lot of people who looked the other way and there were a lot of people who took direct part. And this wasn't done by a small group of people working from the top. This was done by an entire nation. One thing that struck me while going through the vast array of uh, artworks was this ongoing concern on the part of the artist for global human rights. It's the way in which we could really reconcile intellectually and historically his engagement that goes from denouncing the crimes of the Nazis during the Holocaust to creating literally the corporate identity of the Republic of Liberia. It's a multinational story, that of Arthur Schick. So he worked in Poland, in France, in the UK, in Canada, in the United States, of course. It crisscrosses major issues ranging from the Holocaust to the founding of the State of Israel to civil rights in America, and that's just a few. The artwork and the cartoonists of that time were exceptionally important. We can't even fathom it. It sort of was uh, the YouTube of today were the, were the cartoonists of that. It's also important to show how the pen or whatever instrument you use to, to draw with today uh, can be used as a weapon a weapon in the cause of human rights, a weapon in the cause of stopping authoritarianism, stopping genocide. Arthur Schick was an immigrant to the United States. He is a patriot of the first order. Anybody today who would ask, you know, refugees, uh, immigrants, what are they good for? I would say, look at Arthur Schick.